safety feature won't let teens drive their car until their seatbelt is buckled. For many of us, it's the first thing we do when we get into the car. But according to statistics, teens don't always buckle their seatbelts. We're right in the middle of what AAA calls the 100 deadliest days. And it's where there's an increase of about 15% of teen driver fatalities because they're not wearing their seatbelt. Now a new feature from Chevrolet hopes to help. It's called Buckle to Drive. When you just get in the car and do not buckle up, if the vehicle will not shift out of park. Chad Balch is with Chevy. He's showing me the feature, which is standard on the new 2020 Traverse one of the first cars in their lineup to get it. When we sell as many vehicles as we do, when you're able to add a technology that can reduce crash, injury, fatality by just a little percent, it makes a big difference. Let's see how it works. Oh, normally I put on my seatbelt, this time I won't. So I'll turn on the car. And immediately I see team driver active, buckle, seatbelt, to shift. I'm gonna put my foot on the brake and try to shift. and. It's not letting me. The feature also mutes the radio until seatbelts are buckled, and that includes the passenger, too. This reminder is very simple. It just makes it annoying for them to try and drive the vehicle without buckling up. The feature, part of a bigger teen safety suite Chevy introduced in 2015, which allows parents to set a maximum radio volume, speed warnings, and more. It's a great reminder because there's no music. It says you got to buckle your seatbelt before you can go. You might as well just do it. So let me try putting on my seatbelt. A simple click now means you can go. See what happened? Oh, I get my music, and now I can shift and drive away. Well, that was good for the news of 10.